So here's the deal. I'm going to censor this video a little bit. I've sat on it for like six months and uh, I really want to post it, but I don't want to tell you what it is or where it is or any other details. Now, a clever person will figure it out anyways, and that's totally fine, but I don't want to make it easy for the kids that just want to go in and smash stuff and wreck stuff and just cover every inch and bag graffiti. Like, I don't want to contribute to this building's decline. Uh, it's a cool spot. It's uh, really unique, and I'm going to do my part to protect it. That's a beautiful building. That's for sure. These marble stairs. It's very apparent that someone was living here at some point. Um, judging by kind of how difficult it was to get in, I'm not sure if they're still here or not. They might be though. I thought that was a cinder block. It wasn't. It was just a box. <laughs> it didn't support my weight very well. And this... This is what I was looking for. Now that... That is one incredible auditorium. I mean, it's not huge, but it's, uh, it's all like wood. I mean, it's, uh, that's awesome. I did not bring my tripod. I didn't think I was going to be able to climb in here with it. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to be able to climb in here, period. And now I'm thinking I might have to climb out go back to my car and get my tripod because this place is just incredible. I've seen a little bit of graffiti so far, um, but not much, not, not like it, not like you'd expect to see. OK. 
Okay. Time for me to do some photos. Really, really regretting not bringing my tripod. Um, but we will do our best. And it looks like our best is not very good because that photo was basically just black. Okay, I think I'm still recording. Um, Let me go back up to the top floor and get some photos that I missed. Here's a kitchen area, which is pretty cool. Um, I know it's hard to see, sorry. Um, my video light's on, it's lighting up the room pretty nicely for me, but it, I know it's probably dark on the GoPro footage. Um, I knew it was gonna be dark in here, but I mean, whatever, it is what it is. Um, I can't bring an entire uh, lighting rig with me, um, especially not into this building, so. Be patient. I was just down in the uh, basement. Um, I didn't realize I wasn't recording, but it was uh, basically just super creepy and that's about it. Um, it was really dark, obviously. I know there's some storefront. Um, like some storefronts in the, in the front of the building. Uh, but I can't seem to get to them. I'm assuming that, you know, once the individual storefronts were leased out, they were kind of separated from the rest of the building. Um, actually, like, really the whole, the whole darn first floor I can't seem to access. Um, we'll retrace our steps, head the same direction where we started. Um, the problem is these stairs, they like skip the first floor. There's no... There's no, uh... There's no door to the first floor. Oh, 
wonder if this door will open. Yeah, we're back up. I'm gonna try for a few more photos. That's probably it for the video though. Um, thank you so much for watching. I apologize because I know the video is probably a lot shakier than it normally is. Um, that's because uh, I've got my GoPro on my shoulder strap. It's not on the gimbal. Um, sort of, uh, sort of doing this adventure bare minimal style. Um, but thank you so much for watching, uh, a really, really cool place, um, and, uh, yeah, please subscribe, do all of that stuff, and I will see you next time. Okay, that was, that was one serious uh, Sunday morning adventure.